Hey guys, welcome on to yet again to another uh, showdown sweep. I'm missing Lucky Luke, and today's one we got ourselves a a squat quad billy, or billy a sweep. And this Pokemon is really an interesting Pokemon for me, and I really wanted to see if this Pokemon can actually sweep or not. And uh, yeah, this Pokemon actually came up with a really strange move pull, and uh, <laughs> giving it a little bit more of a challenge. And I wanted to try this out for the fun of it. So yeah, this is a normal flying type. I'm actually going to go to show that quickly and show you people pull it. So this is a obviously a normal flying type, and it is a uh, very an uh, interesting Pokemon. It being uh, like one of those like pirate ones. It has a base uh, a stat of 417, not 420. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, it gets uh, three other version of a color. So it gets uh, Squaw Cobbly, uh, blue, white. And yellow. So I was gonna go one of these one, but it could be a little bit more of an argument if I was thinking of picking one of them. So unfortunately, I was gonna definitely pick blue, but uh, in this one, I'm going with classic green because just to make sure it doesn't, making sure everyone has the rights or uh, have parity. So you know, I'm not gonna have an argue which which one should have done. But yeah. So yeah, this Pokemon is a normal flying type, but like I said. It gets abilities um, Intimidate, Hustle, Hustle, and Guts. So, not many uh, really good, really uh, interesting Pokemon ab abilities, but for this one, I went for just Guts because, well, I, I mean, I could go for Hustle because, <laughs> you know, it is more of a rather an, a, uh, a better ability because it can give uh, you a 1.5 uh, attack, and actually, uh, of its physical attack, is 0.5. Eight uh, times, so it can rather miss with this ability. So I didn't want to take the risk of doing it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is not one of those like overpowered Pokemon with like having like over hundred base stats of its arsenal. So this one has has a ninety six on its physical attack, ninety two for speed, eighty two for HP, and then the other stats is just not really as good as you think. So it has a fifty one on the physical defense and special defense, and gets forty five on the special attack. So it's not a really a really like an average good Pokemon, but it gets like it gets a really strange as uh, a with it, and uh, I want to still give it a try. And uh, this Pokemon actually doesn't get any actual setup moves. Like it doesn't get a uh, Sword Dance. Like I mean, it doesn't get any move like Ancient Power. It doesn't learn like uh, <laughs> like. Um, like it doesn't learn anything. Like so, like any status moves does not learn. And I mean, it doesn't learn Swords Dance. It doesn't learn like uh, Nasty Plug, Work Up, or any like that. It gets just these moves. <laughs> Literally, not many moves it gets. So, uh, I was thinking of a good of a good challenge, and uh, it gets actually one move that I kind of wanted to give it a try and see if this Squawk Quabble, uh, Squawk Quabbly Billy um, set can work out. So I'm gonna be using <coughs> a kind of a bit of a little bit of surprising set, and it worked out really well. And I'm gonna give you guys just say it out of the way. I'm gonna run Shell Smash on this set, even though it's a learn it, <laughs> and that can give you a little bit of a hint. So pretty much this battle went uh, kind of a same letter to the other ones. We went straight at the bat, and I'll give you a full explanation how this this build really worked out. But uh, yeah, that pretty much it. So, um, yeah, really pretty much it. So I'm pretty much leaving things up with Torkoal, and I'll give you a full explanation where uh, this uh, build actually happened. And the second one, it's going to be kind of just similar to that one, but it's going to have uh, some moves I'll be showing you people. And, or not be showing you people, but just just uh, just give you a little bit of a, um, like, idea how to use this one. So, um and yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one. And as always, uh, we'll see you at the end of the battle where I'll give you a full explanation. And yeah, see you guys and girls then. And let's go squat quabble.
Unfortunately, on that first battle, we got bullet punched by a classic uh, scissor, and uh, yeah, that didn't really uh, work as things as I planned. But yeah, um, but yeah, that's that that failed. Like I I, I kind of expect that would have happened because you know who doesn't know a bullet punch scissor? Yeah, I know it's very uh, very rare to see it. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the first battle, and the next one is going straight off the bat, we won't have too much to talk about it, and I will give you a full explanation, like I said, on the uh, second battle, and how to use this one, so yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go uh, Squawk Quavo and enjoy the sweep. <clears throat> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this amazing squat club uh, uh, sweep here. And uh, as you also saw uh, <laughs> in the battle, that was a little bit of a fail on the first one. And uh, yeah, we went uh, another one in the second one and show you or redeemed ourselves with another one. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's explain this squat quabbly billy. Uh, uh, is that squabble or squabbly? I I kind of just like it when I say squat quabble if that's fine. Uh, it technically it's a squat qu uh, squat quabbly billy. And thanks for the follow. We just uh, did a a sweep here, and I'm gonna be give you people a full explanation how to run this one and how to run the sweeping set. So yeah, uh, this one, like I said, this doesn't learn any status move. It gets nothing. Like, it get. I mean, <laughs> technically, it gets <clears throat> like one status move that can help you get in like a, some sort of win. But that's only like fake tears uh, that can drop your special defense on the opponent or disrupt your opponent's special defense, uh, which is not really much. Of it. It's gonna help because it's a uh, physical attack here, so it's not much uh, to run uh, fake tears. Um, and it doesn't really much work. I mean, <laughs> like, really, this thing does not learn any better moves than this one. So, this is probably the best bit set you can run on the Squawk Quabbly uh, set. And uh, let me explain this one how this, um, 
how was I able to use a shell smash of <laughs> Uh, literally hacked, <laughs> lol, not really, but uh, a shell smash, a squad quality ability set, and show you how what I was running. So, this is obviously a max attack, a max speed, uh, with adamant nature with this one, uh, for for this special fence, no reason why. Uh, this one is a gut set, uh, I could run adamant, uh, like adamant, <laughs> adamant, what? Uh, adamant, uh, ad, yeah, no, intimidate, there we're sorry, adamant. I would say adamant, but <laughs> adamant that is an ability, literally, on this, this channel you can see this one. <laughs> but no, I could run uh, at uh, Intimidate, but um, it's not really going to be much of use. I mean, I'm going to be running a 1 HP set, and uh, I could run Hustle, but it's a chance for me to miss, and I don't want to rely on misses, and yeah, I just, I couldn't take the risk, so that's probably the best option for me, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, this is a, a very interesting one. So yeah, so how this works is let's go ahead and uh, go to my Toracle and give you a little bit of how to works. So this is obviously a supported uh, Toracle with Yawn, Stealth Frog, and Protect. But this one also has a uh, Shell Smash. And you're probably wondering why I run Shell Smash if it's a supported set. But let me explain. So this is an Eject Packed uh, sh uh, Shell Smash Toracle set. So this set is based around... Uh, <coughs> um, so you use Yawn, put them to sleep, or give them a turn to put them to sleep, then Shell Smash to uh, sell, use Shell Smash uh, on the Torkoal, and that'll activate your jetpack. So basically how this works is you use a jetpack, uh, the item jetpack, if the holder status uh, stage are lowered, it switches the, to a chosen uh, ally single use. So you basically do is just swap it into the next Pokemon if you use Shell Smash. And because uh, Squawk Quabbly gets copycat, I can copycat Shell Smash and use it against me. So basically, I'm using Shell Smash uh, <laughs> uh, on a Squawk Quabbly. It doesn't learn it, people. Literally, <laughs> like let me like let me show you, people. It doesn't actually learn. Um, it doesn't learn Shell Smash. Like let me show you because it uh, is an illegal move <laughs> for it. But I wanted to just show people that actually it is possible for it to learn at least for the lulz. And uh, I can use copycat to give myself shell smash, give myself a plus attack uh, to plus two an attack and speed. Not much of it can help you in the special attack, but <laughs> if you want to run a special set, then here you go. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I use copycat, um, give myself a couple of uh, shell smash, and if there's a chance that the opponent still is asleep, I can use it twice or three times until the opponent use uh, an attacking move. And I have a Focus Sash uh, as an item because I need myself to live on the 1 HP. And then I can use Reversal for any Pokemon that is not part, um, like, Ghost type. And uh, I can just one-shot it with one single attack. <laughs> and I also have Endure in case there's any priority fake-out users or any like that. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of just like, I mean, it's only there if I really need to, to do it. Or if I just want to see if the, the opponent wants to use like a strong attacking move so I can even power up my reversal because if you don't know uh, the more damage uh, uh, if it gets more power the less HP of the users has left and technically if uh, the opponent does attack me I can power up more with reversal so the reversal will do much more damage and <laughs> that will potentially just just one shot most of the Pokemon However, it has a fair, like, it's not like it's going to one-shot everything. You still have to rely on Pokemon has, like, Terra and defensively, but, uh, like, Pokemon, and obviously that is, like, resisted to it. So, in case there is a chance the opponent wants to use, um, like, if there's a chance the opponent has a counter to it, uh, you can run pretty much anything <laughs> on the other set. For this one, uh, I could run, like, Aerial Lays, um... <laughs> Something like uh, something really powerful like aerial ace, um, fly, and all that stuff. But uh, for the lols, I kind of wanted to run peck for this one because, well, what else does pi uh, parrots uh, or these little parrots do? <laughs> what do you think they're just gonna use Bray Bird on you <laughs> if you don't behave? No, 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 that's not gonna work. So, <laughs> um, imagine that actually happens in real life. You see someone, a captain, and see a parrot use Bray Bird. <laughs> You misbehave, but you misbehave, you misbehave, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So I just run for the lols a pack set for just to give it a bit of a more content, and I also give this one Terra a flying uh, to boost my uh, flying type move uh, in case that happens, and uh, it also there for uh, like I said ghost type Pokemon, and that's pretty much it really. So 
like I said, this thing does not learn any of the better moves uh, besides that, so you can't really run any, like, any different set. Like, this Pokemon's really difficult in the challenge, and I could think of running maybe, like, something like Mimic. Maybe I could use Mimic to, uh, like, steal the, uh, the opponent's attack to uh, use it against me, but it's just, like, when will I actually find a po Like, what Pokemon will I Mimic? And what, like, <laughs> what are the odds I will really need a Mimic, uh, a typing move for use that against them? So, I could run maybe mimicking the opponent's, uh, like, physical attacking move, like, um, uh, <laughs> let's say, Earthquake, or something that is, like, it's not, like, part poison, uh, like, no, poison, levitate, or something that has an air balloon. Air balloon can be also annoying if there's a, uh, poison and has an immunity to it. Like, I would say there is a huge counter if I, there's a chance I'm gonna run a Mimic set. Uh, Gengar with an Air Balloon can be definitely a counter because it's a Poison and Ghost type. So it won't exactly hit the Reverse Soul. So if I use Mimic, I get like an Earthquake for example. Uh, <laughs> this thing is pretty much gone. And the only move I can use is uh, Copycat. And yeah, it's not gonna live because it doesn't have the greatest Special def uh, Defense and Special... Uh, or the Physical Defense and Special Defense. So, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Um, there was a few fails I did uh, encounter um, <laughs> on my way. And if I would say right here, there is a huge uh, encounter with the set. Um, if you don't get Shell Smash uh, to the Squad Quabbly, and the opponent does outspeed and wake up on turn two, this thing just, it's gone. It's gone. You can't, like, it's impossible. So, you have to make sure you get a yawn to the opponent, make, them, make sure they put it to sleep, and then shell smash to get them uh, get the out of the way. So you have also in case there is a chance the opponent aren't gonna stay in there and you they're about to like what one two shot to you with like a super effective move. You have protect in case that happens, and then you can shell smash to the next Pokemon, which is Guacquably, and uh, yeah, just copycat it and make sure that hopefully you outspeed it and uh, get that uh, shell smash copycat set. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. <laughs> Like I said, this Pokemon is a very big, uh, big challenging set, and uh, hope you guys and girls enjoy the Squawk Quabbly set, and obviously the entire sweep. So uh, I was also kind of lucky that, uh, <laughs> strange enough, if you saw us in the battle, I also copycat the bulk up for that Tauros, uh, the Paladin uh, Tauros, and <laughs> yeah, I would say not. Like here's the thing, I'm not sure if that bulk up copycat really mattered. I only did it for lulz. But I would say right here, if the opponent did run like a defensive uh, team or something like that, like I would say right here uh, that um, the Skeledire or Skeledurge, um <laughs> I'm not sure if that second or that plus uh, at one on the bulk up really mattered, but I would maybe predict it say that that really mattered because, um, I mean, Skeledurge isn't like, <laughs> like let me see here, so... It gets, I mean, it has a really good defensive set, so it's like, you can run like max defense, and look at the Squawk Wobble right now against the Peck versus defense. It can actually live this one. I would say this one really mattered the bulk up, if I would per se, if I would say myself, because it also has a good health, and yeah, that that, that definitely, I think that, that Peck definitely mattered, uh, or that bulk up mattered, because if I didn't have that, I would say I probably wouldn't have one shot it. Maybe it would bring it to 14 to like 9 HP or so, uh, maybe, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's all I can say. So, um, really big challenge, and uh, yeah, this uh, this is probably the only set you can run for the uh, Squawk Quabbly set, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the uh, Squawk Quabbly uh, set, and, and also, uh, if you also never noticed, I also put up a hidden message here on the name. You probably will find out right off the bat as soon as the highlight is done. So if you find a hidden name, <laughs> you understand why it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So yeah, see you guys and girls on the next highlight. And as always, I'm Mr. Lucky Luke, and I'll see you guys and girls on the next uh, on the next showdown sweep. And yeah, stay lucky out there.